Go. Get the door. Go. Push. Ah. Oh, Push. No, no, no. Turn really around. Turn around. around. You break it. Shove it. Break it. You shove it. Shove it back. Here we go. Don't break mm. the branches, Dwight. Ah, I got a splinter. Well, suck it up. We all have problems. Hey, everybody. Look what we have. <laughs> nice, huh? We got the tree. It is. You got it in? In the stand. All right. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on one second. Hold on one second. What are you doing? What is that? Antiseptic wipe. Trees carry more diseases than people. Okay, stop. Don't even talk. I've got it leveraged. On Push. three. Ready? Straight up. One. One. One, two, two three. three. Ah. Oh. Merry Christmas. I think there might be asbestos up there. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. No, why, why did you bring that here? Don't worry, she's dead. Oh, wait. He's dead. Why, what? I accidentally ran over it. It's a Christmas miracle. Well, get it out of here. Relax, OK? And because this is Christmas, I am going to roast this goose and prepare it with a wild rice dressing. Do we have any cayenne pepper in the kitchen? Merry Christmas, Dwight. Jim. Wow. What do we got here? What does it look like? Dead goose. And circle gets the square. All right. So can you watch this? I'm going to get my carving knife out of the trunk. Do I? We talked about this. No, Toby. This is different. He's already dead. Once I brought in a duck to prepare for lunch, and people got upset. Apparently, they got attached to the duck and didn't want to see it killed. He was already dead, and we shroots use every part of the goose. The meat has a delicious, smoky, rich flavor. Plus, you can use the molten goose grease and save it in the refrigerator, thus saving you a trip to the store for a can of expensive goose grease. Wow, win-win. Exactly, thank you, Jim. I like goose. If it's already dead, is it so crazy if we eat it? That is crazy, it's crazy. No. Mm. Dwight, you cannot keep that here. Okay, that is ridiculous and totally against the spirit of Christmas. Come on, Dwight. We went over this like for half an hour. It's Christmas, Toby. It's a dead animal in an office. You can't. Toby. I'm oh, sorry. <sighs> Please. Please. Clean it in your car. I would like it off my desk. Oh, Pam. Took a chill pill. What is this? Happy holidays, Dwight. But do not open it till Christmas. You're so pathetic. How long did this take you? Three hours? Five minutes, actually. I am a black belt in gift wrapping. Yeah, no such thing. They don't give out black belts for things that are stupid. Psh. Well, I hope it was worth it, because I'm going to take it apart in about five minutes. I think I'll take you a little bit longer than that. Really? If I can skin a mule deer in less than 10 minutes, I ought to be able to cut my... Michael! Chicken wire. Merry Christmas, everybody. Okay, everyone. Uh, 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 uh. Can I get their attention? Sure. Attention, everyone! Jim and I, on behalf of the party planning committee, too, too have an announcement... Too loud. But effective. Look. On behalf of Jim and I, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Good. My diabolical plot is on hold for Christmas. My heart just melts with the sound of children singing. <laughs> Not really. I'm just tired. The days are short. I don't know. Maybe I'm depressed. It is time to unveil the tree. Hey, Rockefeller Center. Yeah. Uh, I've actually been to Rock Center, and this is nothing like that. This is all we have. Ugh. Nope, it's not ugh. It is office camaraderie. It is warm feelings. Why don't we talk more about it instead of doing it? 30, 29, 28, 28. Why would you start so 27, high? 27, 3, 26, 2, 1. Jim. Ooh, oh, you didn't decorate it. No, exactly. We didn't, because we think it would be better to do it together. Everyone. Why would you wrap it in a sheet if you're not covering anything up? I yeah, just said... you know what? When you unveil something, you should really make sure that it's worth unveiling. Like when I unveiled my new body, everyone was psyched. Okay, um, here's... Is, is it fake? Pam? Yeah. Yes, I... we are unveiling 
an artificial tree that will never die. Yes. Like the spirit of Christmas. We're supposed to applaud you for taking a giant dab off a fake tree. This was a successful unveiling. Go back to work. Merry Christmas. Got it. Right. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. I'm freezing. People, wait, wait, wait. Come back, come back. One fun one. We're gonna do a fun one. Okay. <laughs> one Charlie's Angels. One. Let's go. Okay. This is just a Christmas card from your paper supplier. No one's putting this on their fridge. Oh, I got it. You guys, how about this? Michael, what if all the boys are on one side, all the girls are on the other? The boys are like, why yai yada? And the girls are like, let's go shopping. Let's just jump in the air. That's oh, it. Yeah. That's a picture. Yes, jump in the air. We're going to jump in the air. Here we go. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Not everyone jumped. Okay, everybody jump in the air this time, please. Here we go. One, two, three. Still some people not jumping. You gotta be kidding me. Who isn't jumping? Okay. I'll tell you who. Guys. Daryl, Phyllis, Stanley, Angela, and Oscar. I am jumping. You I'm are? Jump yes, Let me I'm see jumping. you jump. Oh my god. Yeah. This is a store-bought camera. This isn't one of those special military-grade cameras that would be able to capture that. I'm freezing. Um, also, Erin is jumping way too early. She's on the ground by three. I don't want to miss it. Well, if, if, if we all jump really high, we'll be in the air longer. Okay, here's a question nobody's asking. Is this worth it? Don't answer that. Hey, people, listen up and listen good. We need to just get one picture where we're all in the air at the same time. Oh, yes? Hi. I believe in us. We can do this. Okay, I'm three. Uh, everyone in the air. Three, two, what? one, zero. Just oh, safe jump. Safe jump. Safe jump. We didn't get it. Christmas time is here. Wow. Thanks, guys. That sounded amazing. Hi. I'm Andy Bernard, and I am the first office Santa ever to make holiday wishes come true. Who's excited to get their holiday wishes? Holiday wishes. What's that, Stanley? We know exactly what holiday you're referring to. It is important to be mindful of all belief systems at our holiday party. I've been here 18 years and have suffered through some weird thematic Christmases. A Honolulu Christmas, a Pulp Fiction Christmas, a Muslim Christmas, Moroccan Christmas, Moraka Christmas. I don't want it. Christmas is Christmas is Christmas is Christmas. I got Stanley tickets to see Louis Black for his birthday. Might not have been the best idea. I don't want no Kwanzaa wreath. I don't need a dreidel in my face. That's its own thing. And who's that black Santa for? I don't care. I know Santa ain't black. I could care less. I want Christmas. Just give me plain baby Jesus lying in a manger Christmas.